Today I'm taking a look at this three line to eight line decoder. Um, I'll get the chip out here in a second. Bought this off eBay, sounded interesting. I know they're used for LED drivers, have not messed around with any before. Thought I'd give it a try, see if I could get this wired up. So this one has three serial inputs, uh, A, B, and C, and it has eight outputs. Uh, and these are gonna be Y, zero through Y, seven. Now, one of the things I didn't notice until after I had this wired up is that these are actually gonna be all high by default, and then one is gonna be low. Whichever one we select on the input is gonna be the one that's low. So, I'm not entirely sure what application you would need for that, um, but if you ever did, this would be the perfect implementation. And then over here are some controls for whether or not it's on or off. We'll take a quick look at the chip here. We can see the serial inputs, the first three, and we've got these uh, enable pins, and then we've got um, Y0 through six, and then seven over here. And then we've got ground and VCC. So we can just take a quick look here at the pins, um, and as, as they're labeled here, these are all input pins, and then these are our output, least significant digit to most significant digit. Here's a quick look at that logic table. You can see the inputs here, A, B, and C, and then we can also see that they're all high, except we've got the one low going right down the line here, indicating which of these uh, three serial inputs on what the bit is in order to indicate whether or not it should be on. Um, so normally they're all gonna be high, which we'll see here in a minute, and then we can control which one is low by passing in the three bits here on the three serial inputs. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, we're gonna do it in two different versions. One, we're gonna have just a couple of switches on the proto board, and then the other will hook it up to the Arduino. So I've got my chip here and I have my LEDs all wired in and then I've routed this one around here on the edge, which is the seven, uh, just so that it's all in alignment. And then I've got these hooked up. This is A, B, and C, and I have those going over to A, B, and C. So as all active low, and then I have a couple hundred K uh, pull down resistors here so that they're low. So this, when I press this, it's gonna take it high. So it's gonna take from a zero to a one. And then if I let off on that, it's gonna go back because I've got this wired up here. So it's gonna always be on. Now, if I take this second one, which is B high, you're gonna see that's gonna be a three. So then if I take A and B high, I'll get a four. Zero, one, two, or three, sorry. <laughs> and then if I take this one high, I get a four, and then I can do a five, six, and then all of them will be a seven. So now we've got these buttons, which is our serial input into our eight bit output, uh, into our eight line output. So we've got serial in and then we've got binary out. So now let's take a look at it on the Arduino. So I have this hooked up uh, the same way we had it with the button, which I've taken out, and my LEDs. So now I've got this set up. Um, this we've got A, B, and C on the pins on the chip, and then we have A, B, and C here on two, three, and four respectively. On number five, I've got it set up over to this G1 pin. And so each time I write, I'm taking that pin low, and then I'm taking it high again after I've written it. Um, just so that we've got the, I mean, that's the, the correct um, clocking in there. Uh, if I take this pin out, it'll eventually float low and all the lights will just come on. And then I also have the ground and the VCC hooked up over here. Now the Arduino uh, sketch, which I'll take a look at here in just a minute, it's just running random numbers. So it's picking a random number between zero and eight, um, and then it's clocking them in, and then you can see it's flashing. So as they go, uh, as they get selected, they're going low. Uh, so then the rest of the time they're on high. Here's our Arduino sketch. To find a few pins, I've got A, B, C, and then I also have that enable pin, and I'm using pins two, three, four, and five. So we're setting them up all as outputs because we're gonna write to each of them. The A, B, and C pin, we're gonna initialize to low, and then the, ser the enable pin, we're gonna set high. I built this function called write signal, and what it's gonna take is a value, and that's gonna be the output. So we're gonna take the three lines from the serial input and, and then send them as a 
binary output. And since I only have one connected, it's going to be 8 bits. So this int coming in is going to be a value between 0 and 7. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this, but just for simplicity's sake, I put a, put a in a number of if then else's. So we're going to say if it's 0, we're going to take that pin low so that we can write to it. And then we're going to write the corresponding binary value to pins A, B, and C. So in that case, it's going to be low, low, and low. And then finally, we're going to take that enable pin high, which will turn uh, the circuit back on, and then it'll display whichever value that is on the output. Each of these else clauses just takes into consideration the next one in the list. And like I said, there's a lot of easier ways to do this with less code, but I think this is very clear for somebody that maybe isn't familiar with setting this up. So then this is very clear as to a seven is gonna be high, high, and high. And then we're gonna take those pins low initially, and then we're gonna set the enable pin high at the end. Now this sketch here is gonna have a loop, and that loop is just gonna pick a random number between zero and eight. And the reason it's eight is because this random number is gonna get kicked down. So it's gonna be inclusive on the zero, and then it's gonna essentially be up to seven, nine, 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 which will get kicked down to seven. So this will give us that, that full range between zero and seven. I selected just a 100 millisecond delay. You can set whatever you want. So that's how the Arduino sketch is set up.